right and that is the reason we have to maintain the valuation class also so for valuation class i have to use of, out of the available options i am using this valuation class as 3100 okay just press enter you may get this message the price control is we enter the moving average price so normally uh, if i talk about this particular field the materials whatever materials you are using there are two ways in which this materials can be evaluated in sap number one is the standard price and number two is the moving average price the standard price means even if i buy the material at 100 usd i will evaluate this material at a standard price of let's say 90 if i tell the system that standard price of this material is 90 usd even if i buy a material of 100 usd or maybe if i buy a material of 80 usd but in my system it will be evaluated if i want to see the report what is the total value or what is the total quantity multiplied but what is the total value of this material it will show as per 90 usd only but if i go for moving average price in moving average price it will evaluate the material on the actual cost so if i'm buying the material at 100 usd my valuation of the material would be 100 usd if i'm buying a material at 90 usd my valuation would be 90 usd and if i'm buying some materials in 100 some materials in 90 then system will automatically derive the moving average and that moving average would be used for my actual costing or actual valuation of the material okay so normally most of the time for trading goods for raw materials we use moving average price but if the material is produced in house if you are manufacturing normally in the manufacturing companies if you are manufacturing the material in house you are yourself manufacturing that material normally only in those cases we use the price control as standard price okay so system is asking you what is the price at which you want to evaluate this material so as of now we have not done any transaction that is the reason system doesn't know the moving average price okay so you can enter the dummy figure here but otherwise you can keep it blank whenever you do the first transaction system will automatically determine the moving average price and that would be available here okay any questions till now yeah. other than standard and moving price do we have like uh, some companies manufacture the goods in batches so each batch may have a different pricing is no no, no. See, that... yeah. see this field has only two options standard price moving average price now coming to your batch part as i told you if you are manufacturing the material in different batches or maybe if you are purchasing the material in different batches then also if the price are different for two different batches the pricing is different system will perform the average automatically okay if the moving average price is maintained the system will automatically perform the average and on that average price the material will be evaluated while if i talk about the standard price then it is not based on the batches at all because irrespective of whether you are getting the 10 batches or 100 batches your material will be evaluated at one fixed price that you will decide for that particular month or a particular year okay so this, here there are only two options either you have the standard price or you have the moving average price. Uh, in that case the standard prices you, you have to regularly visit and see how what i have to put isn't it exactly so normally this activity is recommended only for manufacturing companies who are manufacturing the materials in house and according to the normal it is not related to sap or non sap any company who is following the standard okay. pricing they are recommended to revisit their prices every yearly at least every yearly okay. they should revisit they say they can review whether the standard price whatever they have maintained is correct or because of the inflation the price needs to be modified. Okay, Agish? Yeah, understood. Yeah. Okay. So next and is uh, yeah. one one small small question. 
like products will have BOM. So based on the BOM price variation also, the standard prices can vary. So like it is a company's uh, discretion, like whether monthly they will do, weekly they will do, yearly they will do. Like It is up to them, isn't it? So we need not have to bother. No, normally nobody does at the weekly level because it is not uh, in uh, even for but the manufacturer. I, I understood, like maybe it just uh, as a word of thing, like how they do. So 90% of the times it is yearly. But yes, yeah. let's, let's assume uh, hmm. due to this code, let's, let's take an example. Normally I review the prices every yearly. But hmm. all the inflations, different a lot of change in the prices. So definitely they can do in the mid of the year also. So they can do it monthly also, for example. But weekly, okay. I don't mm -hmm. think any company will do the weekly things because they otherwise the purpose of the standard cost is lost. They can continue with the moving average price, right? Ah, right, right. Understood. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you'll enter the price control, and if you want, you can enter the moving price, which would be dummy, because as soon as you do the first transaction, system will automatically pick the actual price, actual moving average price. So if I press enter, if the system already reached all those views which are selected while creating the material, system will ask us to save. Otherwise, it will take us to the next view. OK, so you can see system is saying we already reached the last uh, page, whatever we selected. So you, do you want to save this material? We will say yes. OK, so this material has been saved. This material has been created under our sales area now. OK, same way, we will just verify or we will create another uh, customer so that that customer can be used in our sales processes, because if I want to explain you the sales process maybe starting with the sales order these are the two important things which are minimum that i need in order to create the sales order i need the material and i need the customer okay so for customer i will go with transaction bp we already discussed in detail okay but there are few things which you may need to i mean need to enter uh, add today related to the customer specifically so what I need to do is I already created some groupings. In our last session, we already created few groupings. I think they were starting with R. Yeah, so RD01, RD01 we created, RFOR we created. So let me use this RD02 for domestic customers. Okay, and if you remember, there are two different roles which are related to my customer master data. So I will use FLCU00 and FLCU01. So first of all, I'll create an FLCU00, and then I'll come to FLCU01. OK, let's click on Create. So title, I will provide this as company. I need to provide some. Uh, this is my customer for RECH. OK, and then whatever additional mandatory fields are there, I need to enter the information. So I'm just entering this mandatory information here. Okay, and language would be English. Let's try to save it. Or maybe first let's go to the company code data because I just entered the general data as of now. I'll go to company code data. In company code, I'm creating this for company code RECH. Okay, the reconciliation accounts that we created last time. So it will show me the reconciliation account. Sort key has been defined as a mandatory. So I need to specify the sort key and try to save it. So uh, it is asking me search term as a required field. So I need to go to general data. And search term is also the mandatory field. So RECH. OK, so business partner number 31010 has been created. And if I go to see what is my customer number, it is also same, 31010. I think the last time the number ranges that we discussed in detail, we configured the same number ranges and we ticked on the same numbers indicator. That is the reason we are able to see the business partner number and the customer number is same. But still, yes, I sir. cannot use the customer. Yes, Tushar. Uh, sir, actually, we uh, put a grouping in domestic customer, but the country we put a US. 
that is not a problem uh, that is just for your understanding so if you want you can change it so that will not stop you system will never stop you it is your responsibility to uh, select the groupings properly okay all right your observation is 100% correct you are saying that we selected the domestic customer but when we created we provided the address which is foreign okay yes. but that is system will not stop you system doesn't knows that this grouping is for domestic this grouping is for uh, local so if you want to change we can change it okay okay let me, let me change it so that it is not creating the confusion so let's say this is mumbai and this is india okay this time zone system will pick automatically as per the country okay let's try to save it now okay so fine now we created a customer but this customer is only created for company code which means we'll be able to use this customer if i want to do any financial accounting related transactions but if i want to create a sales order for this particular customer that can be only created when i extend the same customer to flcu01 role also if i extend this customer to sales organization also to our sales area also okay so for that i need to click on the sales and distribution tab and this is where i need to enter the information related to sales organization so our sales organization is rech our distribution channel i think was 02 let's see yes 02 and then the divisions are 2 r1 and r2 i selected r1 just press enter now it will ask you lot of different things so we need to understand all these things in detail okay in each and every session we will concentrate on one particular topic for example we will talk about shipping in one of the session we will talk about billing in one of the sessions but as of now i am just providing the mandatory information so if you want to default the sales office if you want to default the sales group if you want to default the customer group these are all the fields which you can default in the sales order okay so what will happen if whatever things i will enter here they will appear in the sales order automatically okay similarly if i have different pricing groups if i have different pricing strategies for different customers i can come here and i can assign the different pricing procedures i can assign the different pricing groups pricing list also to the separate customer if i have multiple uh, pricing strategies available okay so as of now i'm keeping it simple i'm not providing anything here which means Uh, the common i will enter the pricing manually as of now when we will be talking about the pricing in detail there i'll explain you how the system can automatically derive the pricing information when you create the sales orders similarly if i go to shipping in shipping also you can specify that this customer is a priority customer so the delivery priority should be highest or it should be medium or it should be low if the customer is not a very good then in that case you can go with the low priority also all right so it is up to you how you want to set up the delivery priority to this customer you can specify the delivering plant so it may happen that the customer has given you the order in a particular uh, plant but you want to deliver it from some other, another plant so that is the only case when you will be using this we'll discuss this in detail shipping conditions for example if you see the options uh, it is a standard pickup or it is a you need to provide the transport service or these are all you can say descriptive whatever you want you can write to identify what are the different shipping conditions you offer to the customers okay so in short in the shipping information it will you will enter all the shipping related information of that particular material that you are going to send it to this particular customer in the billing tab these are all the informations related to billing okay so ultimately once you create the order you will deliver the material using this shipping and once the materials are de delivered you will be billing the customer okay so in the billing section you can derive some of the values which would be required in the billing part of the sales cycle now very importantly if you want to do any of this even if you want to create a sales order you need the partner functions see those partner functions are missing here okay partner function is one of the very important functionality in sap st what exactly partner function does so just take a example a customer 
can be you are ordering customer okay let's let's take a let me give you the complete overview so what we are discussing here 